guys to a cake and a bike life um, I know I haven't made a video in about a week or two um, for good reasons I've been doing the condo process looking for a condo and I've actually found one and yesterday was the move in um, some of my curtains and stuff I have to put up coming from Amazon you know how that goes um, I also hit up Sawgrass Mills malls yesterday and I had to had to hit up the Adidas factory store so doing so you always check behind the register and see exactly what do they have do they have any heat and guys yesterday they had some heat behind the register let's check it out guys so yeah y yesterday man um me and my homeboy Kaka and my cousin aunt we decided to go to Sly Rice Mills Mall on Thursday Every other Thursday, we usually all are off. So, we decided to hit the, the Adidas factory store, and this is what I came up on. Oh, the guy has the Core Black Ultra Boost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone has those. But what did I pay for my Core Black Ultra Boost? Let's check it out. Always gotta have the receipt for the receipt police. Check it out, Sagres Mills Malls. Let's focus a little bit. Sagres Mills Malls cashier. That cashier right there was a very dope guy. Gotta give him a shout out in the vlog. I wish I knew his name. Um, he actually the one hooked me up with this. Um, the shoes were the promo for 126. You know you get 30% off in the store. Um, so that was uh, automatically like $54 off. He also gave me a Sawgrass Mills Malls discount of $25, which brought my Ultra Boost down to 101 and 107 after taxes. So I essentially saved $79 for my Core Black Ultra Boost. Very, very dope pickup. Clean shoe. Nice, comfortable. You guys know about the Ultra Boost. You can't go wrong with a pair of Ultra Boots. This is walking on clouds at its finest. So yeah, I got a pair of Ultra Boots for hundred bucks yesterday. That was a great dope steal. And I also got in the mail yesterday for all you high beasts. Let's cover up my fucking address. You know, that's my old address. It's not even the new address anyway. But whatever. Foot action. I was able to secure. I don't know how the hell I was secured. I, I was able to buy these on release day from Foot Action, but Foot Action actually let me check out. So I'm gonna check out. Receipt. There you have it. There you have it. There you have it. Let's turn it around. You have it guys size 14 I actually went up a size because after um, I actually had three other pair of 13s three other pair in a size 13 um, I found out later that these fucking shoes are small guys so I got a size 14 the 13s wouldn't have fit anyway but I sold them day of the release Hold on one second, guys. Trying to do this in all in one shot. There you have it, guys. There you have it. What you guys are going crazy for? Yeezys. Haven't tried them on yet. Um, this shoe is not my style. What I may do is um, just keep the shoe for collector reason, just as a collector's item, just to have. 
I heard it's real comfortable, more comfortable than the first Yeezy. I actually like the Pirate Blacks. Um, this colorway I don't like too much. But the V1s, the Pirate Blacks, I actually think those are very dope. So I'll just be keeping the V2s and putting them in a case in my living room just for display. You know? I guess. Thank you guys for watching the Kick and the Bike Life. We have two, two nice pickups, two nice pickups.